that now your church shine as your breath that you soar in your heart as you offered up your life that now the lost be welcomed home by the saved and redeemed those adopted as your Let now our hearts burn with a flame of fire consuming all for your sons, holy name. And with the heavens we declare, you are our King. We It's just the craziest thing to think that all over the world there are people in different settings and different cultures, but they're just like us, worshiping the exact same God. Being able to come into the presence of God and, you know, worship Him and encounter Him, you know, it's not an exclusive thing, you know, it just in, it includes anyone. It doesn't matter what you've done or, you know, where you've been in the past. You know, Jesus says, come as you are. If the church at large got an even better revelation of worship and we're able to take our eyes off ourselves and our differences and just see Him, see the world the way He sees it, imagine there'd be no separation, no division, no disunity. Imagine the power of a unified church.